Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do my December TBR. Now, I wasn't really thinking I was going to do one because um, I have a stack of books that I want to read that I kind of talked about in my um, end of year tag that um, you probably saw maybe the other day. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm just going to put out the book. Kind of, I kind of went through the list and I'm like, well, these are the books I really want to focus on. This is where I want to go. So think I'm gonna read these books but again I'm over ambitious as always so and I always give myself a little space to cho pick and choose so um we'll just I'm just gonna put a TBR back up again <laughs> it's just fun I love these anyway so I'm not gonna talk about the books that I'm currently reading because I've done that in some other videos and I'm just gonna go forward with books that um, I'm also hoping to read uh, this December so the first one is a book from the library that I have which is Barbary Station by R.E. Stearns and um, I remember hearing so much about this earlier this fall, I think, and maybe late summer, because they moved up the date for the release, I think, because there was so much buzz on it. But I haven't heard a whole lot of people reading this yet, and I, but I put a hold on it at my library, so I finally got it, and I want to read it. I know it has to do with, you know, uh, I think so, uh, some people who are trying to uh, join a pirate crew, and uh, they go to the station thinking they're going to have, you know, it's going to be the, the life. And it, I think there's a crazy AI or something. I'm not even sure. But I, I'm looking forward to this. It just sounds fun. And I'm hoping it's good. As I said, I was hoping to see some more people talk about it after they've read it. But I, I just have not seen any. And uh, But I'm going to take a chance on it and at least give it a shot. At least try it. Um, and then I want to try to hit all my five-star prediction books. I, As I said, I made a video... Um, I'll link that down below, uh, back in, I think, September. And um, I <laughs> have not read, um, I've only read one of them <laughs> since then. And it was kind of surprising because the rest of the picks are all like science or, or fantasy books that usually I just eat up. So it's just been kind of that off because I did Victober and then I did Nonfiction November. And so it just hasn't been a lot of time to pick up um, big fantasy books. So um, the first one I want to read is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. This is book two in the Broken Earth trilogy. A lot of people have talked about this and really loved the end. So I want to get there. So I um, just have not gotten around to finishing this. I loved the fifth season last year when I read it. And I got this book right away and I just did not pick it up because I knew the third book wasn't coming out until this year. And then I still haven't picked it up yet. So I'm um, going to reread part of the fifth season. I started reading rereading it a little bit ago, but I want to try to finish that and then go straight into this. Um, anyway, this is a great fantasy novel so or the series, I hope, because I love the first book. So I want to continue on with that. Um, my dark horse running in my five star prediction video was Lost Boy by Christina Henry. I loved her Alice in Wonderland retelling horror books. Um, they were just, they were awesome. Especially the first one. I really, really enjoyed that because it was so dark and creepy. <laughs> um, but, um, this one is on Peter Pan and if you guys saw my wrap up when I read Peter Pan, I was not impressed. I do not like Peter Pan. <laughs> as a character or as the book. <laughs> I don't, it just, it was never one of my favorites as a kid either. But as an adult, I just, I go, I look and I go, oh my gosh, how can that be someone's favorite? But that's fine. That's my opinion. But I still read it and I still want to read Lost Boy because I had already paid for this. And I want to know, you know, how she does it. Because this, again, this is from Hook's point of view. And again, to me, it makes it sound like Peter's the bad guy and I agree. So I want to see how she does this. And that's why it's on my... I want to get to that. Um, another fantasy book that I um, want to read is Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. Um, this is uh, one of four books, I think, in this series for about um, some guys who are called Great Coats and they travel the land and um, to right wrongs or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I know it has kind of a Three Musketeers vibe, which is something I really enjoy in books because it's Three Musketeers is one of my favorite um, classics. So I really want to get to this. Everybody was talking about this earlier this year in the summer, and I really have been wanting to read this. And I finally got a copy of it, and I'm like, okay, I want to read it. And I got on my five-star prediction list and haven't got to it yet. So hopefully I'll get to that. And then the last one is kind of, this is the one that I'm not sure I'm going to get done in December. This is more, I'm just kind of throwing it in here, saying I might get to The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Um, 
It's book one of the um, Dandelion Dynasty, and it's more of an Eastern-inspired... Um, what is... Oh, he called it, like, Silk Punk or Silk something. Oh, I can't remember how the, the new term is for um, that kind of fantasy. It's, is it Silk Punk? Let me know. I can't remember. Anyway, um, but um, I've been wanting to read this for a while. I've actually had an ebook copy of this for, like, close to when it came out. I got it on a Kindle deal or something, and I just never got to it. So I bought the physical version at one at some sale and um but I still haven't picked it up so that's why I put it in my five star predictions because I do want to try this and I um I, I said I don't know if that's going to make it into December I'm just putting it out there that I will try, uh, attempt that could be the book that I'm reading going into the next year I don't know we'll see <laughs> um and then I have two books that I had pulled previously from my TBR jar picks um I did suspend um pulling from the jar. I'm not going to do it this month either because I'm trying to wrap up all these books that I've already said I want to read this year and I want to try to get as many of these done that I've said I'm going to read that I haven't read yet. Does that make sense? I'm trying to get rid of, get through all the books that I've said I want to read that I haven't yet. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> so one of the ones I did draw, I think in September, was A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Now I read um, Darker Shade of Magic back in June and really enjoyed it. Um, it was just a fun ride and so I want to go into to read this too and then uh, finish off with The Conjuring of Light but this was one of my TBR jar picks I was supposed to get done and as I said I tried to do these within two to three months of when I drew it. So I did draw this at the beginning of September so we are now going into uh, <laughs> Uh, month number four, but I hope to get to this sometime this month. I, I think it'll be a really quick, fast read. The la the first book was, so um, I'm hoping maybe I'll get that done. <laughs> and then um, the other book that I drew was in October, and it was a tale for the time being uh, by Ruth Ozeki, I think is how it said. Um, and again, this is um, about um, some I think a debris from the um, from the um, tsunami from Japan uh, washed up on the shore and um, there's a diary and so it's like telling with the person who found the diary and the one and about the the 16 year old girls whose diary was found in the lunch pail. So um, I've heard a lot of good things about this when I when I drew it in I think October um, just before that several people had read it and really enjoyed it so I was kind of glad I got it I drew it but now I'm like oh, I gotta read it. So anyway Hopefully I'll get to that too. I don't know. That that one's kind of a, an if. Another if. That one might be a January. We'll see. And then another book that I am just dying to read that I got last month. And I just, I've been dying since I heard about it. And I want to read Blackwing by Ed McDonald. And this just sounds fascinating because again, it's a, another, like a, there's a, some kind of expanse or some, uh, the misery where, uh, like all these bad things happen and people, this one guy has to go out and find somebody. And uh, I don't know, it's book one of the Raven's Mark. And I just, I've heard from on um, other people's channels that they read it, that really liked it. I think uh, Kitty G um, was one of them. And I just, I, and I started following him on Twitter and I'm like, I want to read his book. I need to read this. So <laughs> this one I really want to get to, but this is also one of those ones where I got so many other books in front of it that I'm not sure I'm going to get to it, but I really so it might happen. <laughs> so those are all the books I would like to read in December. I'm not saying I will read them all because you know how it is. I'm, a, I'm about three quarters <laughs> of my TBRs I get read and not, which I probably should probably start uh, kind of monitoring that and seeing how many I actually say I'm going to read and how much I do read and how many of the same books actually match up. I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. What do you guys think? So um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Happy reading. And um, hey, if you've read any of these books and I tell me you have to read that right now, let me know. <laughs> Bye. Just real quick, I'm just going to break in to say one book also I'm probably going to read this month is going to be the one of the uh, follow ups to uh, To Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer. So The Will to Battle, which is number three, is coming out um, near the end of the I think on the 19th. So I'm already on hold at the library for that. So I probably will get that and I will probably read it as soon as I get it. So um, I don't, of course I don't have a copy of it. So, but I'm really looking forward to that. So that's another book, okay?